it's literally like worshiping like people this society like the concert industry is like they're worshiping artists they don't know but it's just like this music music is huge music is beautiful it's a good thing but when it comes to concerts and the music too as well but it's like a whole culture of people worshiping an artist and no one should be worshipped. It's only God that should be worshipped. So, like, it started making me think different. Especially with watching David Lynn's content and Dora Love's content. I got convicted. Then as of August 2020, I actually left Instagram for like four months. I came back in December or ending of November. But I left Instagram because I didn't want to use Instagram again. All I was doing was just promoting these artists that people worship indirectly without knowing because people it, it, i've gotten so many messages from so many people in dms asking making some weird requests or people treat you differently yeah that's another thing a lot of people treat me differently because i was working with all these artists and i got used to it like i got used to working with these artists so it was like nothing to me but people elevated me they treated me like i was a celebrity and some some of my friends back then or people I knew back then treating me were starting to treat me differently. They were jealous, and they weren't supporting me. They were when they see me, they look at me funny. They're like, "Oh, yo, you're that guy who, uh, or you work with Drake now or something like that, trying to be funny but being sarcastic and showing jealousy." But yeah, I had to deal with so much during that time. Also, when I was also, I know I keep on going. I've said this before, but I keep on going all around the place. But even in the music industry, it was so toxic. If someone noticed, like, especially two people who are around me at certain concerts. So if they notice you're just starting out, they'll treat you like, they'll treat you like you're no one. Like, so I used to take pictures. They also used to take pictures as well alongside. But because they noticed I just started out in 2017, all the way in 2017, they were treating me weird. They were treating me like, oh, first they'll try to get you to get to know you just in case you're like someone famous or you've accomplished so much. But they were treating me differently and weird. But over time, as I started going to more concerts, they were like, oh, yo, bro, you're everywhere. You're like everywhere. They're, they're trying to talk to you or whatever. But yeah, there's so much toxic things. I even found myself, I found myself in different circles I shouldn't have been. Like I found myself in man like someone and people who like violence people who have been gone to jail for violence against like at a playground which is actually crazy i don't know how i found myself but it was related to some artists which i met somewhere so yeah i found myself all over the place and i noticed that people were losing like actually around no a lot of people i personally know but people I was working around were losing their lives, which was actually crazy. So, man, so many things were going on. I may not remember everything in detail, but so many things were going on around. But basically, in August, when I came back, like I started reflecting, and I was like, there's no point. I can't use Instagram, but I came back. And one thing I've always enjoyed when I was younger was fashion. 